Hello everyone, this is Story Majesty. Welcome to part two of The Admin. Soren came out of the portal to one of his old bases, but it had changed. The walk that kept the amethyst blocks from seeping out into the rest of the world had broken down. His buildings were torn down. Creatures of the night were roaming around during the daytime. Soren walked into his starter base and found a book. Dear Soren, if somehow you are alive, I am surprised. I am shocked to see that you stumbled upon this book. You now know that your world is now mine. The creatures you see will roam during the day as well as night. I have summoned a white-eyed surprise for you, your brother Zarin. Zarin dropped the book and ran out of the house. He looked at the top of his torn-down mineshaft house and saw Herobrine. He disappeared and appeared in front of him. Soren took out his sword and Herobrine backed away. I am not here to kill you, said Herobrine. Your brother is really not the kind of person I take orders from, any anyways. Then why are you here? Soren asked. Herobrine took out a device and set it down. It showed a spike in powers in different locations. I tracked your brother yesterday, he told him. It is linked with very powerful dark energy. I was then told to track your energy and saw light energy surrounding you. I am tasked with helping light energy rather than dark energy. He's planning something, isn't he? He asked Herobrine. That I cannot say, Herobrine said somberly. Whilst I walked in the shadows of man, your brother traveled with them. Trained with them, learnt with from their bows and swords, till one day he slaughtered them like animals. Who told you who banished him from this realm? Sorin wondered this for a moment. It was the creator, he said, until he left. Ah, but the creator created Zarin, said Herobrine. He also created Irene, the goddess, and Hades, the corrupter. I was there when he did that. I was supposed to be by Irene's side when everything fell apart. The creator abandoned his work and left Hades to be set free. Your brother Zarin isn't your brother. He is a corruption of the system that must be stopped at all costs. Irene gave you a new set of powers. It is time you use them. Zarin looked at his hands and shot a plasma bolt out of them. Herobrine looked at the trees that were soldered in flames. Time to get to work, he said. Zarin flew to Hades' corrupted castle and thrusted his new sword downward. He then gasped and fell to his knees. I, I did what you asked, master, he stammered. I gave you my body for sixteen years. I can make you a new body. His eyes turned black and he growled, the voice of Hades coming out of his voice. Silence, fool! Hades growled. I have wasted enough years of you groveling. It is time I take matters into my own hands. I am doing you a favor. Yes, master, Zarin cried. Hades picked up the sword. I am, however, Hades growled in pleasure, pleased with your craftsmanship. The way you made my sword into a new work of art. Magnificent. If you are to make me a new body, I want you to be my weapon specialist. Thank you, Master, Thorin said. Now to reawaken my army. Hades said. Black ooze came out of Zarin's hands and seeped into the dark grass. Hades' corrupt army rose once again. Hades' laugh could be heard throughout the land. <laughs> Herobrine and Sorin were training when Herobrine heard Hades' laugh. Herobrine summoned his sword, and Sorin stopped training. What's up? Sorin asked. We got trouble. Herobrine said, 
I fear that Hades is back. That's impossible, Thorn exclaimed. The crafters destroyed his soul. Herobrine closed his eyes. He sensed two souls coming from the east. Brace yourself, he said. They raised their sword, their weapons, and saw Zarin. Hello, brother, said Zarin. I guess you can't stay dead. Thorin lowered his weapon a bit. How did you find me? he asked. You're not the only one with a guardian with you, Zarin said. For 16 years, I have had someone traveling with me. You might even recognize the voice. Zarin's head turned, and Hades' voice came out. Hello, little hero, Hades growled. What a pleasant surprise. Zorin and Herobrine gripped their swords tightly. I can see you're displeased to see me, Hades growled. No matter. You'll both be dead, and I'll be the ruler of Minecraft. No, you won't be, Zorin said. As I'm here. Zorin, no, yelled Herobrine. Zorin charged at Hades and shot him with a plasma bolt. Zorin and Hades gasped in pain. Zorin's body fell to the ground, but they could still hear Hades laughing. I can't be killed, Hades roared. He was just a vessel. Now my true phase will begin. Hades vanished, and Zorin fell to his knees. What have I done? Zorin asked himself. Herobrine rushed to Zarin. You've lost a lot of blood, Herobrine told him. Odd though, your healing properties aren't working. Zarin coughed up blood and looked at Herobrine. Just a risk when you're carrying the biggest corruption in the whole Minecraft universe, said Zarin. Zarin approached Zarin. I'm sorry that I lied about being your brother, said Zarin. The less you knew about your mission, the better. You were actually a brother, said Zorin. It is now time to rest. Zorin nodded and stared at the sky. Herobrine and Zorin watched as Zorin disappeared into code. What will happen to him? Zorin asked. Something tells me that he'll get into Minecraft paradise, Herobrine said. He actually was living a double life. Even though he was in darkness, the darkness that was Hades for 16 years, I have only discovered in his dying minutes that he was light. Thorin looked at the ground and saw that Zarin had left a book. He grabbed it and opened it. Dear Zorin, if you are reading this, or if one of your crafter friends is reading this, then it means I am dead. My death actually means the end of Minecraft as we know it. I have kept Hades' soul trapped within me for 16 years. Price to pay in dealing with corruption. I have kept this secret hidden from you, so that you wouldn't worry about me. You have so much to learn in so little time. Irene and Herobrine will tell you everything after this book. Farewell, Zarin. Zorin looked up at Herobrine, who gulped. You knew, didn't you? Zorin asked him. We swore an oath not to get you involved, said Herobrine. Irene stated that you were not ready. The crafters are on another level than you. I have defeated Hades, yelled Sorin. I have also defeated a werewolf that was terrifying, terrorizing this realm. You also had help, Herobrine stated. In order for you to be ready, you must defeat a foe without help. So are we just bringing ev back everyone? Sorin asked. Only the ones with true knowledge of Hades, said Herobrine. Herobrine opened a portal and five crafters came out. They all looked around and saw Sorin. Sorin, your Mr. Mask said. How are we alive? No time to explain, said Sorin. Hades is back. Wait, my father is alive? Eve exclaimed. This goes against all regulations. We'll need the most powerful weapons to defeat him. Agreed, sister, said Tess Steve. But how are we going to get those weapons? Block City has the weapons, said Rage. I could get us there. Zuma, said Sorin. What do you think of all of this? 
They turned to Exuma. This is a dangerous mission, said Exuma. I have grown old these past years. I have seen too much bloodshed than any crafter should have seen in this realm. If we're going to save Minecraft, then we're going to have to get the right equipment. This means that some of us are going to have to go to the end dimension. Everyone stared at each other. No one's gone there since in 16 years, said Rage. Not since the update. Ever since the Ender Dragon and the Enderman left, said Ewey Stream, things have gone very bad. I'll go, said Sorin. Sorin, said Hero Brian. That place is dangerous. Only a skilled crafter can survive there. I'll make it back, said Sorin. I promise. Sorin teleported, leaving everyone in the fields. All right, said Hero Brian, who's making the run to Block City. I'm going, said Rage. I know it. And I would like Testy to go with me. Rage and Testy got in a truck and headed north. Hero Stream, could you help me with the potions? Yes, said Hero Stream. Even Eve made a makeshift tent and they went inside. I'll do a sweep around the perimeter, said Exuma. Make sure you radio with me every five minutes, said Hero Brian. Exuma left, and Hero Brian stared at the sky. This is the only team that can stand against Hades, Irene, said Hero Brian. I just hope it's enough. Rage and Testeve arrived in Block City and arrived at Rage's house. I'll be back, Rage told him. I just need to grab a couple of things. Rage got out of the car and went into the house. Ashley, he said, I'm home. Where have you been? She asked him. You've been missing for months. I know, he said. Things have been a little chaotic lately. So I heard, she said. It's all been all over the news. You took on the admin? We had to, he said. He was going to kill all of us. Ashley looked at the ground. So there's no admin? She asked. The responsibilities of the admin went to several people, he told her. All right. Sorin, Stream, Exuma, and me. We split the world into different segments. Sorin got a part where he can train new crafters. Exuma got a part where he can get new hermit crafters. Stream got a part for scary survivalists. And I got a part for Block City and the surrounding areas. But doesn't that mean you rule this area? She asked. It does, he said. Which means that crime will go down now. I'm guessing you aren't here to stay, she said. No, he said. Hades is back, and I am with a team that hopefully can stop him. Ashley kissed him. Then come back alive, she said. I will, he promised. Rage got back into his truck, and Steve looked at him. You'll be able to get back to your family, he said. I'll make sure of it. Rage nodded, and they drove off. <laughs> Even the Yavai stream tested different potions to use against Hades, but none of them had the right properties. This is not working, Eve yelled. At this ra rate, we'll never defeat my father. Yavai stream comforted her. We'll defeat him, he told her. We just need to find the right combination of chemicals that can counteract his powers. Eve looked at the ingredients. Minecraft gods, you're right, she exclaimed. I've been using the ingredients to defeat his physical side when I should be using it to defeat his magical side. She mixed three different potions together and created a new potion. We did it, she said. This is the right potion to defeat Hades. Great, the restroom said. Let's tell the others. Sorin arrived at the end portal, but something was off about it. This portal is radiating power like no other, he muttered. He took out his netherite sword and jumped in. In the end, he saw that it had changed. He hadn't been there for 16 years. The update had failed. Everything was corrupted. Unknown creatures crawled everywhere he could see. Sorin saw an end city. He rushed to it. 
that something came crashing down. It was the warden. Really? He yelled. I thought you couldn't be here. Dorian knew the warden was blind, but could only react to sound. He snuck around the warden to the end city, but the warden bellowed and charged. Dorian dodged the attack. How can he sense me? He wondered. Dorian looked at it and saw that the warden had been upgraded. It had eyes all over. There was, would be no way to escape. No way to defeat him. The warden charged up an attack and blew purple flames. Dorian dodged the attack, both shocked. He now knew why the Under Dragon wasn't seen for 16 years. The warden took her soul. This mob was overpowered, yet the creators didn't intend for it to be like that. The warden charged up for another attack, and Sorin threw an Ender Pearl at the top of the end city. The warden screeched at him, but he knew he was safe. He sat down for a minute, trying to catch his breath. I need to check my surroundings, he told himself. The ship is on the other side, and the warden is already tracking me. I'm going to have to bridge over to the islands. Thorin took out some cobblestone and made his way to the ship. Saw some shulkers, but they didn't attack. They could sense the presence of the warden and knew that if they attacked, the projectiles would bring him over. Thorin grabbed an elytra, but then saw six more. There are enough elytras for Rage, U.S. Stream, Test Steve, Zuma, even Herobrine, Thorin said. He grabbed the elytras and made his way back to the main end portal. The warden followed, firing purple flames at him. The warden got to a ledge and stopped. He bellowed in rage as Thorin was free. Thorin dropped into the end portal, back into the overworld. And that will be end of part two. I hope you guys enjoyed the second part of the admin. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button for more. This is Sorry Majesty, signing off.